Functional uh, categorization of the muscles, uh, an agonist uh, pull the, pulls the attached bone at insertion. Uh, and also it's known as the prime mover. Another group of muscles are antagonists uh, that uh, produce a, a oppositely directed movement uh, at the joint. And uh, antagonists, uh, they can uh, slow down the motion and also they can return limb uh, to the initial positions. Uh, agonist and antagonist muscles are paired. Uh, so if you have a flexor in flexion, it's an agonist and uh, in extension, it's an antagonist. So they can change the role. Uh, another group of muscles known as synergists uh, that uh, they neutralize uh, agonist and uh, also support the uh, joint from the dislocation. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the lever action uh, of the muscles. Uh, bones, ligaments and uh, uh, muscles are uh, structures that uh, uh, that form levers in the body. Let's look at the lever here. Uh, levers in the body, the, they create the human movement. Uh, in a simple term, a joint uh, forms an axis or a fulcrum, uh, and the muscles uh, crossing the joint apply the force, as you see as a hand here, to move a load that we have here. Uh, levers are typically labeled as uh, first class, second class, or third class, uh, and all three types are found in the body. But uh, most levers in the human body are third classes. A uh, first class lever has the uh, yes, first class lever has the uh, axis located between the load and the force. Uh, first class levers uh, in the human body are rare. One of the examples uh, here is the joint between the head and the first vertebra, uh, the occipital joint here, and the load is the head, uh, the axis is the joint, and the uh, muscular action or force come from any of the posterior muscle attaching to the skull. Here you can see the trapezius. Uh, and we can always calculate uh, the amount of tension we need to move a load, uh, no matter which type of lever, just based on the distance uh, that we have from the load and distance that from the uh, tension toward the axis. And we can use the formula, uh, tension multiply uh, its distance from the axis is equal to load multiply its distance from the axis. So. If the distance from the axis are the same, load and tension uh, have the same value. In the second uh, class lever, uh, the load is located between the axis and the force. The most obvious uh, example is the uh, wheelbarrow, uh, where the weight is placed uh, on the bed of the wheelbarrow between the wheels, which is the axis here. And in human body, an example of the second class lever, uh, we can say when uh, uh, in the lower leg, uh, when you stand on the tiptoes. Here, the axis is formed by the uh, metatarsophalangeal joint. Uh, the uh, resistance is the weight body, the whole weight body, and the force is applied uh, to the calcaneus bone or heel by the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle through the uh, Achilles tendon, as you see here. Uh, let's look at the third class lever. It's the most common uh, lever in the human body, and uh, force is applied between the load and the axis. There are many third class levers uh, examples. One of them is the elbow joint, and the force uh, is the biceps muscle when the elbow is flexed. As you see, uh, this can cause a mechanical, dis mechanical disadvantage for the energy. Uh, by calculating the tension, uh, uh, we need to, for example, move a 10 kilogram load. You see that uh, by calculation, uh, we uh, need around the uh, 70 kilogram uh, uh, tension. But what is the advantage of the having the third class lever? 
it produces a faster movement of the object so if we move uh, for example about uh, one centimeter we can see that the load will be moved uh, around seven centimeter here in this example and uh, if we think about the velocity so the muscle is moved uh, one centimeter in a uh, period for example one second so the object is moved seven centimeter in uh, one second which is seven times higher uh, this is why the reason that we can uh, have these uh, sports is, for example, you throw a ball, a softball, and the velocity can reach uh, to a speed of up to 160 kilo kilome kilometer per hour.